So you want to add payments in your Flutter app. Watch this Udemy courses and learn all about payments from scratch. All right, ladies and gentlemen, in this video, you will learn how to create dynamic links. Okay, so first thing we will set up our project. So create a new Flutter project and connect it with a new Firebase account. When I say connect it, that means you need to connect your iOS and Android app with your Firebase account. Okay. I already created a new Flutter project and it is connected with this Firebase account. After that, you need to go to this GitHub repository. I will add a link in description. Then go to the code, download the zip, save it in the desktop, then go to desktop. Okay, so this is the file, unzip it. Okay, so after that, inside this folder, you will find complete code and resources. And inside this resources, you will find all the images and we will use these images in our app. So go to your project and create a new folder called assets. Then select all these images and drag and drop to this assets folder. Now go to pubspec.yaml file and here scroll down and here uncomment these two lines. And instead of saying images, we will say assets and remove this and save it then it's going to import all the images inside our assets folder okay after this we need to import these two plugins first one is firebase dynamic links and second one is share plus so import the latest version of these plugins from pub.dev and save it okay now we will set up android side for dynamic link for android we need to add this intent filter Okay, you will find this code same in this GitHub repository. So this is the same intent filter that we need to add. So simply copy this and go to your Android app source main. Then here you will find a file called Android manifest.xml. Now here scroll down, you will find this intent filter. So after this intent filter, paste the copy code and Let's give some space like this, save it. Okay. And here you need to update your host URL. So for that, go to your Firebase and here in the left side, scroll down, go to dynamic links, click on get started. Okay. So first thing we need to do is select a domain. Okay. So here, as you can see, Google provided domains. So this is some example domains and here is the, okay. So you can select anyone. Let's select this example one, then click on continue. Okay. So this one is not work. Let's try another one. Okay. So now let's try the second one. Okay. So it's working. That's good. Now click on finish. So we are just doing testing. So we don't need to worry about domain and other stuff. We can add and delete this URL anytime. Okay. Okay. So we need to type this URL inside our host, inside our host. So here, instead of saying example.com, we will say https.coffeecrew.page.link. Okay. So the same, the same URL. Okay. So it's not a problem if you add this HTTPS. Okay. And you can remove it like this. But if you want to leave it, you can leave it. So that's all for our Android side. Now we can use dynamic links for our Android. For iOS, you need two things, Apple developer account and a real iOS device. Okay, because dynamic link doesn't work on simulator. I don't have either of them. Then you need to go to this website. I will add a link in description. So here we have Apple platform. Okay. And here you can see step by step how you can set up dynamic links for Apple platform. Okay. After setting up all the things in the terminal type letter run, press enter. Okay, so as you can see, it is giving us some error that we need to change our main SDK version to 19 because we are using Firebase. So for fixing this problem, you need to go to Android in the app, then in the build.gradle, scroll down. So here we have this main SDK version. So you need to remove this and type 19 here, save it. Now run it again. 
flutter run press enter <clears throat> okay so our app is up and running let's close these files okay close these so go to the main dot dot file and here we don't need this home page so we will remove the code from here to the end and we don't need these comments remove it remove this okay and remove this also let's create a new file home page dot dot and it's a stateful class so type stf shortcut for creating stateful class and then for the class name let's say home page now here in the build let's return a scaffold and in the scaffold add a app bar app bar in the app bar we will give a title title text home page let's say home page save it okay now we will give this home page in our main so here in the main type home page okay now reload the app and we can see our home page so here let's remove this debug banner so in the material app type debug so check banner mode so you will see this field and here type false now save it reload the app okay so banner is gone now go to home page and here instead of saying home page we will say book store our app name and and we will change the color of our app bar so in the app bar type background color theme dot of context dot scaffold background color save it now reload it okay now let's remove this shadow so type elevation set it to zero okay now we need to change our text color to black so here in the text type style text style color colors dot black save it reload it okay so our basic setup is done now we will create dynamic links so you can create dynamic links in two ways first one is by manually and second is by code and we will check out both of them first manually okay now we will create a new dynamic link so when you create a dynamic link then you need to first check this prefix so this is your main url your domain and after this we have this prefix okay so this prefix and you can edit it from here in the prefix you can add random four or five digit words and you can add a word that indicates something something like download store sale stuff like that okay so let's add download here okay download download it same and here you can see the live preview so how the url gonna look to the user once you are okay with the prefix click on next and here we can set up our dynamic link okay so what is dynamic link it's a link that somebody clicks and it will redirect to somewhere right at the end it's just a link it redirect user to some place right it's just a link how user can open a link he can open it in an android device he can open it in an apple device and he can open it in a browser there are only three ways to open link first one is android device second one is apple and third one is web browser so here you can adjust all three of them so first you are seeing this set up your dynamic link you can set up this for your web browser and next you will see this define link behavior for apple here you will define how link gonna work when a apple user opens the link and the same way you can define the behavior when an android user click on the link so we have three devices we got it dynamic link is a link we got it and user can open this link in three ways web browser android and apple 
right now we will check it one by one first one is web browser now here you can adjust the behavior for web browser and we will work on android and apple later just fill up this one so when a user open our link in a web browser what we want him to redirect to a website so here we need to type a random website if you have your website you can add it or you can add a random website okay so let's say https slash slash your website dot dot page dot com whatever okay and then here you can give your website name my website okay now click on next then click on next then click on next then click on create now we got our url this is the url now copy this url and open it in your web browser okay so it is redirecting us to this website and now if you go back here and click on this three dot and click on edit and here in the second part when we are setting up our dynamic link as you can see we are giving this website url and it is the same url that you can see here so when we opening this link then it is redirecting us to this url so it is for web browser it is okay for web browser it is easy you don't need to do anything you just need to paste the url for any page okay now click on next let's see android first click on next now we need to define the behavior for android user so when an android user opens a link then what we want we have two options first one is do we want to open the link in a web browser okay so this is the option number one so if you select this option then obviously your link gonna open to the web browser we already know when it's gonna open to the web browser then this part gonna work okay so it's gonna simply redirect user to the website url whatever you type here then it's gonna do the stuff that we defined in our web browser part so we will check the option number one select option number one and save it now open this url in your android device open the url and as you can see it is opening the url in our web browser obviously as we defined cool now go back and edit this link and click on this android part now let's see our second option in the second option it's gonna open the link in the android app okay now select the second option and then you have a drop down in the drop down you can select your app select your app all right now after that we have two more options if your app is not installed then send user to so where do you want to send user when your app is not installed first option we have is google play page so google play page or if you want to give a custom url so if your app is live then you can select this first option my app is live as as we already know so i can select this or you can select a custom url and you can give a custom url it's up to you i am selecting this all right that's all click on next and save it open the same url again in your android app now as you can see i clicked on this link and it is redirecting me to this google play page that's a trick because i don't have the app okay now let's install it okay 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 so now it's installed cool okay now i have the app now let's click it again okay now it is directly opening the app it is not redirecting anywhere it is simply opening the app so did you see the trick if user don't have the app it is sending to the google play store if we have the app then it is simply opening the app so that's how you can create a dynamic link my friends now i will show you another trick that gonna make your link more professional so go to this link click on edit in the fifth option we have this add social meta tags click on this drop down and here you have these three fields that you can fill up 
let's say here download book app and here let's say download and act, download and get all your download all your favorites books and here we need to add a image url so i have this image url you can find yours copy the url paste it over here and click on save okay now copy this url and go to your whatsapp and paste the url and and after some time you can see we got this meta tags and you can send this link and it's gonna look something like this did you see the difference this is the normal link and this is the professional link that we just created ios setup is same as android we have same options you can open the link in the web browser and if you want to open the link in your app in your app then you need to select this option then select your app and obviously you need to update your app store id and your team id so if you go to your app in the project settings so this is the project setting and if you scroll down this is the ios app and here you need to update your app store id and your team id okay and after that then you just need to select the app and that's it for the ios setup okay now our link is full proof we got all the things set up so, okay now we just need to add it in our app so when user click on a button then user can share this link from our app with his friends let's do that so here in the app bar type action in the action we will add a text button on press then in the child type row children and inside the children we will give icon icons dot share type text share with save it now reload the app okay so we got the button and here in the on press type string url equal to copy this url and paste it over here and paste it over here like this add colon so when user click on this button then user will be able to share this url with with his friend or other peoples we already have this plugin called share plus so we will use this plugin for sharing the url so we just need to type share dot share and here we need to give just url paste it over here and it's a future method so we need to type await here and a sync here save it now reload the app okay now if i click on this button then as you can see we can share this url